Well, just pulled up to the airport. You know what I'm saying? In the Mercedes Benz, you know what I mean? You know how we do. You know? Me and Lisbon right now. Just playing, but um, yeah, no, I just wanted to talk about why I hate short layovers. Like, this layover was only supposed to be 50 minutes from Chicago to Lisbon, Lisbon to Zurich. Duh. <laughs> I mean, number one, you gotta make, you know, time for error or time for, you know, plane needs to do this, airport traffic. Yes, airport traffic is a thing, whether that's foot traffic, traffic on the uh, runway, um, it's just airport traffic. It all falls under under that, you know, under that umbrella. But dog, like, like I would advise anyone if if you if you can't book direct flights, like you can't afford the direct flights, or they just don't offer it, I guess. Um, never book something that's like, I would say less than like a two hour layover, like, because then again you got to factor in all those things of like how you. Um, of just like the moves you gotta make from the time that the plane lands and you gotta wait for them to hook the um the tunnel up if they have a tunnel sometimes you gotta when you walk off the plane you gotta take the shuttle to where your terminal is like different things like that and with most um i would say international flights i think that's like from all the places that i've been you know over the past three years most of the international flights or international arrivals are touching down and then you gotta take a shuttle to wherever the terminal is. And then you gotta go through, you know, customs, immigration and stuff like that, whether or not you're connecting uh, or um, whether or not you gotta you gotta recheck your baggage, you gotta factor in all of that too. Oh <laughs> can't even forget you when you gotta recheck your baggage, especially if you're flying, you know, two, three airlines to get to one place. Like I know that's that's happened. I mean mostly from, you know, North America to Europe. You're only flying two airlines, but you could be doing three, depending on what city you're going to. Um, most of the major cities, like if you're going to like Paris, Lisbon, um, what, Barcelona, Madrid, um, did I say Paris? London, um, Milan, uh, Stockholm. Um, yeah, man, you just gotta really factor in that time. My uh, fault, um, I got sidetracked. Uh, yeah, so if you're flying to those major cities, you're mostly either, you know, catching a connecting flight um, in L.A. or Miami, um, New York, Chicago, when I was on my way to Lisbon from Dallas, um, or D.C. as well if you're flying, um, if you're uh, flying into Africa, though. Yeah, if you're flying into Africa as well, like, sometimes you might have to catch, you know, four different airlines, so you want to always want to make sure that, you know, you just... You just um, have enough time to do what you need to do. And factor in the airport traffic and rechecking your baggage and things like that. Like it's very important. Um, but um, Tap Portugal, though, I, I had a very nice experience. Uh, first time flying with Tap Portugal. You know, new airline. Who this? <laughs> yeah. But um, no, nah, man, it was cool. Like the the food was like pretty decent. It was like some chicken with some pasta and and, uh, and a plantain for me. It's pretty fire. Um, and the snack after that was pretty like I think it was just like some type of turkey or chicken with cheese, but it had no sauce on it. Like it was dry. I'm just like, Ooh. But luckily, you know what I'm saying. I packed my own little snacks. You know what I'm saying. Got the cucumbers on deck. You know what I mean. Got the got the got down. Uh, where we at? Let me turn my bag around. Got the oranges. You know what I'm saying. Straight from, straight from Mexico, dude. And I packed my carrots, which I haven't even touched my carrots yet. I haven't touched my carrots yet. Bussin. You see that? Bussin. Anyway. Um, yeah, man, but uh, anyway. So they, I mean, the good thing about, you know, missing that flight was that Tap Portugal took care of me, you know what I mean? They put me on the, you know, the next available one, which is at, I mean, departure's at 13.20. So I probably won't get to Zurich now till like four and I was supposed to arrive at 12. So taking four hours out of my trip, pissed. But it's all good because, oh, it's not good. It's all good because, you know, they give you vouchers for food. I'm assuming this is like, you know, like little snacks six euros or whatever you gotta do a little coffee or something like that 
um, yeah, you just take it up. You just um, what you do is you just take it up to the counter, and um, they'll give you food. Uh, um, uh, oh yeah, see, it says snack right here. Snack. So yeah, you grab your little coffee or something, a little bag of bag of chips or whatever you you know whatever you feeling. And then uh, then they, this is for the um, they give you ten euros for a meal. This is the first time this has happened to me though. This happened when I was in uh, Turkey, actually, Istanbul, on a 17 hour layover. Um, but that wasn't because I mixed my flight though. They just, I guess, you know, Turkish Airlines like to, you know, like to make sure their customers are satisfied. But Turkish is definitely up there. Top five, top five, top five, you feel me? Um, yeah, they, they gave you like, I think it was like 15 euros or something like that. It may have been more expensive or whatever their currency was. Um, yeah, so I'm just chilling, waiting. I'm gonna upload this video right now. Get this content out to y'all straight, raw, unedited. You feel me? Straight from the source. But um, other than that, man, uh, I'm excited to check out Zurich. Ho hopefully, it's not too much colder than uh, Chicago. But you know, as the windy city, they say it's the windy city, but it was that windy. Luckily, because I only got this leather jacket and this and this hoodie. But um, I was bundled up pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? Didn't have to pull the face mask down. You feel me? But um, you know what I'm saying? We got that just in case. But, um, yeah, man, you see? This is the whip. You know what I mean? About to roll out of here in like five minutes. About to go get something to eat. A little snack. Maybe some coffee. It sounds like the sounds like the move. Um, yeah, man. Please rewind Ghana. Please rewind uh, Switzerland. Please rewind Zurich. We on the way. Um, you know what I'm saying? Monster du Monde, depending on what continent we on, a.k.a. Theodora the Explorer, you feel me? Um, yeah, man, I think that's it. <laughs> Please be out of here.